you know, you make your own luck and okay, the Blues, they haven't had much, but they're not actually contributing too much. Engage. They keep on Speed. using the same tactics. It's not going to come off. You're right. They're going to have to go to their game Stay breakers, on. try a bit of magic. They're going to get some ball and some field position first. Here come the Highlanders again. Stretching for it is Willie Walker. Spots a little gap. Shepard it towards the touchline. He's over. He will go upstairs. Come upstairs, uh, Glenn. Just to check, but we think that's a try okay, we'll to Willie Walker. Things, yeah, I think you're right, line. TJ. And, the, and I'll tell you the, the crucial guy in this touch. was Jeff Wilson. He got on the outside. Goal, you called it. They thought he was going to touch. Look at Wilson. Herds him yes, in. Thank you. Well, is that a boot on the line? Just got to check this very closely. Ball go down there. And that is, in fact, that's, that's Wilson's boot. Yes, that's I think that's okay. Wilson's boot. That's no problem. And he made the try, good driving himself. Blues thought they had it covered. I think it's Jeff's boot, though. Yes, in fact, you could just probably pick up someone there saying, "I think that's Jeff's boot." Dead right. Bryce Lawrence is the man on the far touch. Okay. Worth checking. Thank you. But it's a try, all right. And Willie Walker, the man who went south, has scored for the Highlanders and has this set them on the path for a first ever win at Eden Park. Well, you're talking about good defensive lines from the Blues. That was from a set piece. This is from a scrum. So this is just man on man defense. Tani Vula came in, created the overlap with Steinmetz doing the dummy. Look at Wilson. For me, he made that try for his teammate. Couldn't get it himself, but he does enough to keep him in. Look at that. Thank you. There's the siren. All they've got to do is put it over the touchline. They've done it. And the Highlanders have done it. The Eden Park hoodoo is broken. Laurie Maines has been waiting for this for a long time. The Highlanders fans, the Otago fans, have been waiting for years. And finally they've done it. Tane Randall has led his side to a very important victory at Eden Park here tonight. 20 to 13, the final score. The Blues get a bonus point, but will probably, in fact, certainly have to win at Bruce Stadium next week to have a chance of the top four. But that is a big and very important win for the Highlanders. Oh, it certainly is. They're going back down to Carisbrook next week for a home game. This was the one they really wanted after the Brumbies last week. It was whether they were going to be able to mentally get up two weeks in a row playing away. They've done it. Look, at that's the player of the day for me. Jeff Wilson contributed so much. Stu Wilson summed it up before. They are very positive on what they're going to do. Very simple game plan backed themselves in defence, really had the courage to say, I'll take the next guy. They did that very well. The Blues, well, they really were out of the game in the, at the end of the first half, but the second half they did battle back. They showed a lot of character, a lot of discipline. Really just guts it out to try and get down the other end. Scored a try. They really had a couple of opportunities late on to do it. Couldn't quite do it. But